Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be commenting on Tati Westbrook's latest upload where she brings up divination and tarot readings. And I figured what better time to actually talk about this point she brings up, and it's a point I actually agree with personally. And I want to go into a little bit of detail about it and break this down a little bit. Now, if you do not know the video that I'm talking about, I'll just leave a link down below to Tati's video. I don't feel like going into too much detail about it just because this is her business, right? Uh, but I really wanted to touch on where she was asking for divinate, uh, divinators, tarot readers to all to kindly respectfully not to make content out of her life. And I really am so glad that she spoke about this because I've had an opinion about this for a very long time. I've never felt the need to voice it because who's asking, honey, right? But now that Tati Westbrook has opened the conversation, I really want to give a little bit of my perspective and my opinion on this. Now, if you don't know who I am, many of you obviously will not. I've been actively practicing spirituality for over 15, 16 years. I've been doing tarot readings for about 10 years since high school, honey. I was in a, even in high school, darling, I was wearing full-on heels, lashes, everything before boys were even doing any of that. I had a beige purse. I would whip out my tarot cards and give readings to people. And I, that's been my background, right? I've been work, doing tarot for about a decade now, I would say safely. And I also do weekly horoscope videos for all the zodiac signs. So I have a little bit of experience when it comes to not only tarot, but also from the entertainment, the public side of consuming tarot readings. Because I feel like there's a major difference between uh, divination and tarot reading that you do in private practice behind closed doors and then what it is that you put out for the general public. This is because of a lot of things but the thing I want to really focus in on is tarot readers who will actively use celebrities lives as the focal point for creating their tarot content. Now honey what other people do is none of my business darling. I personally just never have agreed with it because here's the perspective I want you guys to think about. When it comes to tarot readings, it's a very dangerous game, especially when it comes to tarot readings that are posted for the public on YouTube. Um, because it's for general readings, right? Everyone's up to, it's the readings themselves are up to the individual's discretion, but it's also the responsibility of the creator of the tarot reader to present the message in the way that it's meant to be presented in. So what you'll notice with this niche especially is that it's very bingeable content. It's very addictive content where, you know, if you really start getting into doing tarot readings or watching tarot readers, uh, you'll start spiraling and watching a bunch of tarot videos. And personally, it's beautiful for me, right? You, I get the views, but I feel like there needs to be a deeper conversation with this. I make it a point to talk about how it's up to the creator, the tarot reader, the whoever is divinating, darling. It's up to them to present the message properly and what it is that they're seeing. And with this, they have to, I feel like it's not talked about enough of where creators, tarot readers, do not keep in mind with how the audience will be receiving the message. The, and it's very easy to get lost in the sense of where you're just presenting a message and, you know, it's, you know, we put all, all of our, all of us tarot readers, darling, we always say it's for ent entertainment value only. But I feel like we need to, a lot more people need to take themselves out of the situation and see it from the other side of the glass, right? If we're presenting this content that's very easily bingeable, you have to be aware of the fact of people's you know, they're going to you. Whether we put entertainment factor or not, people are clearly coming to us creators to receive some type of information. And so what it is that you're feeding them, are you going to be consistently feeding them a bunch of drama, a bunch of, you know, insert whatever it is here that you're going through, right? What kind of energy are you trying to put into the reading itself? Are your readings stirring a sense of anxiety? Are your readings giving a sense of peace? What is it actually providing? That is up to the tarot reader but also it's still up to depending on the results right a tarot reader still has to give the results and be blunt about it but you can be blunt about those results without it being super drama filled is what i'm trying to say so with all that in mind when it comes to actual celebrity tarot readings I personally do not do this practice because put it in this perspective as well. Well, yes, a lot of people always make the argument when it comes to public figures, this is what they sign up for. But, you know, I want to go into this a little bit deeper. Well, yes, public figures sign up to have people talk about them. If we're going to respect tarot for what it is, if we're going to acknowledge tarot for what it is and the potential that it has and the impact that it can have in our everyday lives, we have to be aware of the message that we're presenting. And when you're talking about people's personal lives here, not only are you setting up a narrative for 
this person, this celebrity who might potentially see this message and it might start sitting in their mind, but you're also setting up an extremely potentially positive or negative narrative for those who are watching this content of this celebrity, those who could be potentially fans of this celebrity. Clearly, they have to be some type of fan if they're watching a reading, getting insight on this celebrity's lives. Tati brings up a very valid and strong point that I feel like not enough people talk about is where you're quite literally taking a practice that should be normally extremely private and then publicizing it for every, the world to see. Now, you know, our nosy, we all are nosy, darling, right? But I feel like it's extremely important to put it in perspective that these are humans as well. And when you are putting out this type of content, the audience that you are serving this to, while yes, you can put entertainment factor in there as well, right? <laughs> For legality purposes more than anything, darling. But if you're practicing tarot and you respect the craft to what it is, you're also acknowledging that you're tapping into something that's very private information, very private energy that you didn't get permission to have at all in the first place, right? Being a public figure does not somehow give you immediate permission to tap into their private spiritual energy. You're essentially doing something without their consent and that's where i feel like the major red flag is because you're not only doing the tapping into their energy without their consent but you're portraying it as entertainment value you're putting out it out into display for potentially thousands of people to see it and it's quite harmful for not only the person that you're reading the uh doing the reading for potentially but also harmful to everyone else that's receiving the messages. I feel like it's really easy for tarot readers to just send out a message and not really think about the personal ramifications that it actually can create. While yes, you can put entertainment value, darling, for the whole purpose of legality, for going to just be blunt. But we also need to keep in mind that these are human beings that are watching these videos. And the narratives, the energies that you're putting into these videos is what people are going to be taking with and going along with their lives with. So often, more often than not, I see with my friends and even people who are subscribed to me where they have to admit to themselves where they had to take themselves out of the really deep rabbit hole that is tarot readings. When it comes to public consumption, you're, there's never going to be a time that you cannot consume new content with tarot readings. And I feel like there needs to be a little bit more accountability, a little bit more sensitivity when it comes to the content that we are creating, especially when we are tapping into other people's energies without their consent and then using that for entertainment value. Right? You know, I feel like there's a fine line between bringing awareness to tarot and, you know, actual truly entertainment value and guidance and then actually feeding into something that's just not very lovely. And I know that's not anyone's intent, right? Uh, when it comes to doing tarot, I don't think anyone's intent is to truly cause any type of anxiety, cause any type of pain. So I really wanted to capitalize on this moment with Tati uh, bringing up divination and give my perspective on it and hopefully this brings a little bit of awareness to at least some viewers who do receive tarot readings to, uh, you know, keep in mind with how you're consuming the tarot content, right? Um, be very aware that you're not going to live your entire life behind the messages that you see in tarot because it's very easy to, and it doesn't matter how many times you want to say for entertainment value only, when people are choosing to subscribe to you and receive your messages from tarot, they are entrusting you with your perspective, with your outlook, and it's only uh, fair to the viewers that you keep this in mind as well as a tarot reader and I feel like it's up to our responsibility those who are creator content creators who are also divinators tarot readers anything in this metaphysical spiritual field darling that we uphold the same standard that we would want to have for everybody right just because someone's a public figure does not mean we get any more right to accessing someone's private information private personal energy without their permission and it's extremely not fair to present that in an entertainment value right if I were to give a reading to you guys private Privately, how would you feel if I were to post that reading that I gave to you guys privately on YouTube for entertainment? It doesn't feel good. And while, yes, it may be interesting, it may be really fascinating and, you know, getting all that tea and gossip, darling, but these are human beings. And I feel like we really need to start acknowledging that and really start putting a, 
asking the question as us content creators when it comes to spirituality and anything really is what are you really hoping to accomplish accomplish with the content that you're putting out there uh what emotions are you hoping to stir what am what are you hoping to inspire what are you hoping to motivate right instead of just always thinking about what can we get into this tea here right let's let's step away a little bit from the tea and really think about the bigger picture on this stuff because if we're going to tap into this uh spiritual energy when it comes to tarot cards right then let's give it the proper respect that it deserves and just the same let's give other individuals public figures or not the same proper respect i love you so much that's my this is my i guess this is my ted talk darling uh i'm gonna step off this podium though and i'll just continue on with your day but if you haven't heard it today i see you i hear you and i love you so much bye girl